you need a lot of things to be happy in this life, man. You need you need fulfillment. You need love. You need friendship. You need honesty. You need honesty about yourself. You need to be able to assess your strengths and your weaknesses and find your goals and achieve them. And you need a lot of fucking things to be happy. You need you need you know. And when I say find your goals and achieve them, I mean like you know, not necessarily like your ultimate goal to be happy, but you have to do, people require improvement in their life to be happy and it might be improvement of just you i'm gonna paint i'm gonna paint a uh, landscape scene yeah you get it done and you, you look at it and you're creative. like i fucking did it you know yes. when i whenever i do anything whether it's a podcast or i write something that feeling that you get when you're done like ah, i did it you need that to be happy you, you gotta just be, be a, a lazy fuck and sit around doing nothing 100 percent. Yeah, i'm gonna just gonna drink and fucking sit outside you were gonna get bored man you're gonna want to do something the gonna, idea of the ultimate idea of ultimate vacation is a stupid idea. I, you know, even when I go on vacation, I'm good for like a day. And then I want to do something. I want to do some shit. So then it's vacation. Let's go do fun shit while we're on vacation. But the idea of just sitting and just drinking in front of a fucking ocean for three days, like, Jesus Christ, how long can you do that? What kind of attention span do you have? But do you have a day of rest? One day. Yeah, that's one my day. Sunday. I can sit down one day. I Sunday, one day. I just don't. I yeah. try not to do shit. But I, sometimes I don't feel like I deserve it. If I don't feel like I deserve it, I won't give myself. Oh, I feel a day. guilty sometimes. Yeah. But I feel like you have to have that moment of just yes. relax. You do, you do. But don't. I think you have to earn it. In my mind, for for me to be happy, I have to earn it. I have to make sure that I've, I'm not like slacking off about a bunch of shit that piles up in your subconscious. Because that's the shit that fucks with you when you're on brownies. One hundred percent. And that's the shit that fucks with you when you're in the isolation tank. When I'm in the isolation tank, everything that fucks with me is things that I'm not doing. It's a hundred percent things that I'm not doing or some mean stuff I said to someone when I was tired or something. <laughs> you know, like sometimes that'll like come back and you'll get some weird memory of that. But for me, like you know, I mean, where I am in my life and what I've done and all that stuff, I. I I have to, one thing someone said to me is that I asked them how they were doing, they go, uh, a lot better than I think I am, you know, because <laughs> sometimes people... It sounds like Neil Brennan. Yeah, it's like you, you're doing, you're actually probably doing better than you give yourself credit for, but, you know, sometimes people focus on what hasn't happened yet or, right. you know, than what th has gone well in their life, and a lot of people sometimes uh, compare their, like, insides to other people's outsides, and... That's where you start getting really weirded out, you know? Right, it's like right, when you right. start looking at this guy and he's got what you've always wanted or you yeah. think you've always wanted and you're like, oh, I don't got anything. And you, like, don't realize how much you've done with your life. I, I'm really just in the moment. Of, I, there's tons of stuff I, I would love to do and I'm mm -hmm. working on doing. But, like, at the end of the day, like, from what I've wanted to do, I've done a lot of it. There's a lot more to do, but I've done a lot of it. The most important thing to me when you, you have that feeling you compare yourself to other people, this is it's not it's not a bad thing to do, but what you gotta do is only be inspired and have that as an ethic. Don't ever be jealous, don't ever be uber self-critical or down on yourself. Instead of going, good. yeah. Instead of going, oh, I'm a fucking lazy piece of shit. You know, look at this guy; he's doing his fucking second Comedy Central special, and I, I don't even have a fucking hour and a half that I really like. You know, this is my my act sucks, and I can't keep a relationship. Instead of saying that, instead of saying that, watch some guy that you really love or respect, or watch. And, and instead of you know, instead of being put down by it, be elevated because 100%. You, got it. you can choose to do that, man. People can choose to do that. Yeah, you might you might be right. You might be a lazy piece of shit. You might be right, but don't think about it. Don't concentrate on that because if you concentrate on the fact that you're a lazy piece of shit, you will continue to manifest that reality. It sounds like hippie bullshit, but no, it's, it's fucking totally true. true it's dude. energy and intent. I have some thoughts, man, about about reality, and I have some thoughts about the the use of the mind and the imagination and how it sculpts reality. I don't think it's as simple as they want to break it down in like the secret and the law of attraction. And I put a picture of this house on the wall. Yeah, that's and four crazy years shit. later. I was moving into that house. I don't think it's that, but I think it's kind of that. I the think there's something to the idea that your thoughts and imagination have an effect on reality. One hundred percent. This is, this Look is at my rappers. reason. This is my reason why I say this. Because I think the imagination is something that we're not taking as, as seriously as we should be. And what I mean by that is that I don't think if you looked at like what what part does this play in life? What part does food play in life? What part does the, the imagination has a huge impact 
on our reality because we take things out of the imagination and we build them like this fucking laptop. It came from uh, originally from someone's idea and it blossomed and evolved into what you see in front of you. But it came out of the imagination. It came out of the air. Someone figured out how to put something together because they had an idea. They had a spark. They saw a vision. They saw it fully formed in their mind or they saw steps along the way fully formed and they figured out how to do that. I think your mind doesn't just control things in a sense that you bring things out of the ether, you bring things out of your imagination and bring them and manifest them in the real world, but I think your mind actually has an effect on how things go in the real world. Yeah, and they, as I said before, I don't, I don't understand quantum physics. I don't get it, but I do know that they've done tests where they show that particles react differently if you're observing them than if you're not observing them. And I think there's probably something, some unmeasurable thing that's too fucking freaky and far out and really difficult to prove. But I don't think it's outside the realm of possibility that there's, there might, your mind might have some sort of an impact on reality. You know, babies are still going to get killed by drive-bys, and yep. people are still going to get caught in avalanches just randomly. I mean, it's not not to say that shit can't happen. Right. Shit most certainly can happen, and most certainly there are natural occurrences that are going to be absolutely beyond anyone's control. You know, there's levels of experiences. Like, you know, you get to a meteor impact. That's a wrap! Meteor 65 million years ago, a big one slammed in, and there's nothing bigger than a fucking hamster lived. That's it. Boom, boom. And that could happen again, and no, no matter how much imagination you have and how much you... You, 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 you dream of a perfect world. I don't know if you can prevent that. I think that there might be quantum things. There might be macro things. There might be a whole bunch of things working together. But I don't discount the idea that you can use your own mind and your, your own imagination to manipulate reality to a certain degree. 